Good morning, folks. This is Joe Golden. I've got my uh, 1997 Ford F-150 Dom DeLuise edition. No, I'm just teasing. It's actually no kind of edition. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. This truck is so base that it does not, it's not even an XL. It's just F-150, period. Got a window sticker here. This is uh, my parents. They have a company um, over in uh, West Georgia, and um, they bought this truck new in 97. 97 Ford F-150 4x2 regular cab long bed um, it has just a couple of options here 4 speed automatic transmission $970 a 355 rear end axle ratio $45 air conditioning which is CFC free $805 AM FM electronic stereo cassette clock, $110. And a painted rear step bumper for $100. After destination, that brings this truck to 17370. Uh, let's just take a wild guess which engine's in this truck. Cold start. Haven't started in about three days. Four days? Oh yeah. But buddy, she runs good. I wish I could tilt the steering wheel up so you can see the speedometer and odometer a little better, but it has 116,837 original miles. Uh, check engine light is on for a O2 sensor. Just hadn't bothered with uh, getting it fixed. Hell, it runs great. May never get it fixed. Let's pop the hood. Actually, I need to back her up just a hair so I can get to the hood, get under the engine. There's a couple of intriguing little things about this truck. Actually, you know what? Uh, we'll look under the hood and then we'll go for a little ride. Got some squeaks coming from the front. I don't know if you can hear those. Squeak! Yeah, good. Emergency brake works. Oh! Yeah, really the only wear and tear on this truck is this poor seat. Um, which for 116,000 miles Kind of disappointing, but I mean it is 20 years old and this truck usually most of the miles have just been um, Short trips short runs around town making deliveries um, Row machine Anyway, yeah f-150 Yeah, there's nothing under there But it's a you know, a damn good running truck. Got the 4.26, which actually has pretty good power. I mean, I was able to, um, you know, uh, squeal the tires a little bit the other day. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a great motor. I mean, it runs smooth. I mean, only 116,000 miles. Um, I do know that the transmission has been replaced uh, due to the fact um, they towed uh, some trailers with this thing. And you know, uh, pulling a trailer with the 4.2 V6 is a little aggressive. Got a little exhaust rattle down here. But yeah, I want you to look at this rear bumper, okay? 
Yeah, you're thinking, okay, why not have a receiver hitch? Um, this is a Laverne truck equipment six inch step bumper, or six, six that is, it's six inch, right? Yeah. Look at this 900 pound tongue weight, 9,000 pound towing capacity. Are you freaking kidding me? Out of a step bumper? Why the hell did they not put a receiver hitch on it? Do you think it's because of the spare tire located under there? I mean, I don't know. I don't get it. That just seems... But hell, it, it's obviously worked all this time. But um, I know they did have to uh, replace the transmission because it was shot. But it's a clean old truck. You know, it hadn't been beat up. Hadn't been abused. It's dirty. I haven't I didn't wash it before doing this video. But um I love how the tail, the exhaust comes out right there. And I think only the six cylinders do that, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh I was driving this thing home for the first time on the interstate and I wanted to see how fast it would go. And I got up to around 90, I don't know, 92, 93, and I lost the damn uh, little plastic hubcap there. See? So, yeah. My parents, they won't notice. And I hope. Uh, they don't care. I mean, how can I, how can I possibly control that damn thing from flying off just because I'm going fast? Sweet. Oh geez, need some lubing or some bushings. Oh sorry y'all. I hate when I do that. I'm so, so damn tall and I'm trying to see off the mirror. Hit the roof. Hit the roof. Do a little do a little test drive. See, I'm spit oh, I'm spinning the tires. Yeah, this is a basic, basic truck, but you know what? <coughs> Excuse me. It's been maintained well. Um, old changes done. You know, uh, my parents, they take care of their stuff. Um, maintain their stuff. So this truck's been well looked after as far as mechanics. And you know, to be a work truck, you know, the guys at the shop, I think have done a pretty good job taking care of the inside. Uh, I mean, it can use a little wipe down and cleaning, but I don't think any of the guys were smokers. Eh, maybe a cigarette or two's been lit. But you know, it doesn't reek of smoke and you know, it's not just jam packed full of garbage and you know, I, I think they took pretty good care of this little truck. But this truck actually runs and drives pretty good. I mean, I, 97, uh, I don't know. I hate the 5.4 Triton V8. I mean, just because of all the issues people had with them through the mid-2000s. But... Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Was the 5.4 in the late 90s, you know, 97, 98, 99, was it a better motor than the uh, 5.4 of, say, you know, uh, 04, 05, of, you know, the ones that have the cam phasers issues? Um, I think a 4.6 would be just right for this truck, the 4.6 V8. Uh, but the more I drive this thing, if I'm not going to be towing a trailer, and uh, or let's say I'm just going to tow like maybe some lawn equipment or something like that, you know, small trailer, a couple of mowers on it, yeah, I would uh, definitely, I'm going to come back and do a walk around on that Impala. That Impala, that thing, where in the hell did they find that? Barn find. Um... I digress. Where the hell was I? Um, 
Oh, the engines. Yeah, I mean, cause this 4.2 really does have plenty of pickup. It's, um, here, we'll get on it a little bit here. I mean, how much more power do you want? I mean, it's got plenty of get up and go, man. Now, if this thing was four-wheel drive, yeah, definitely would at least like to see the smaller V8. Um, but two-wheel drive, stripped down, you know, no equipment. The damn air conditioner doesn't work anymore. Uh, my mom did tell me that. They've got, they're gonna get it replaced this spring. Um, but especially with it not damn working, uh, you really don't have anything pulling down the engine. <laughs> it's got plenty of power, man. Yeah, I'm just uh, light throttle, and I'm already at 55, which is 20 over the speed limit, so I'm going to slow down. Uh, we'll pull in here to my favorite little park. My favorite little park. The CRV there. I don't like that it's at a trailer park. I don't know how well, kind of good shape or not it's in. The only thing I am kind of noticing on this truck is the brake uh, pedals getting a little mushy. Might be, might be getting about time for some uh, master cylinder. I don't know. Man, that thing squeaky. Yeah, I mean, you can see, it needs a little vacuuming and wipe down. How the hell do you get back here? Ooh, that's, that's a, oh, there it goes. Oh, okay, so it's not too bad. Got some uh, hard hats, one glove. Yeah, pretty clean overall. Headliner's coming down, didn't notice that. But, uh, you know, overall, it's a pretty straight old truck. I mean, <laughs> excuse me, I got something in my mouth. Um, I mean, to be 20 years old and be a work truck and not just be beat to hell is a miracle. Um, it's got a decent set of tires on it those Michelin look-alikes, Nixon, if Rodian, what kind of damn name is Rodian? It's got a matching set of those, they've worn pretty evenly. Like I said, got a bed liner back here, tailgate not beat up, got that awesome step bumper, everything looks good. Yeah, it's just a good straight old truck. It'd be amazing what a bath would do for it. Man, ugh. Yeah, if it had a damn bath, it would, uh, it would clean up real nice. Yep. Got a few boo-boos there in the front. I mean, the headlights are even pretty clear. <laughs> they kept this truck inside the warehouse. It never really sat outside, so that might have been, that might have helped preserve, you know, the headlights and this white paint, because the white paint really still has a shine to it. Good wash and a wax job, and plus, you know, there's no sun damage to the dash or 
any, you know. So yeah, it sat in the warehouse. Everything under here is nice and clean. It doesn't leak any oil or anything. Yeah, I'm just really surprised. It's just a good running low truck. be a little low on brake fluid, but I don't think that's what's causing the pedal to the floor issue. Need to check on that. Zero to sixty run in here. Whew. Well, I'm running out of road. <laughs> How about in zero to fifty? I didn't want to come across this hill and see a cop. It's only thirty five out here. But Needless to say, it's got plenty of power for what it is. Just a good old work truck, man. Good old work truck. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this little video. It's kind of boring, not a whole lot to show. But uh, y'all have a, a, a great uh, Sunday and an awesome week next week.